Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ravi Singh and I'm going to help you understand great engineering concepts around us. For that, you just need to hit the subscribe button down below. This video is made for discussing a very useful concept in fluid mechanics and that is what is the difference between incompressible fluid and incompressible flow. So let us discuss about that. So let us first discuss that what is incompressible fluid. So a fluid for which change in density due to change in pressure is negligible that is termed as incompressible fluid. So what is this negligible? The meaning of this negligible is that the ratio of change in density with respect to original density must be less than 5% in order for that fluid to be incompressible. And this can also be said in a different way by relating it with a Mach number. That is when the Mach number of the fluid when the Mach number of the flow is less than 0.3 then the compressibility effect in the fluid is negligible or we say that the fluid is incompressible. But how these two are related? Because these two are denoting the same thing incompressible fluid. So how do these two are related? Let us see. For that let me define a term bulk modulus which is also denoted by the letter K. So this bulk modulus is the ratio of change in pressure with volumetric strain and this can also be written as change in pressure with respect to that ratio of change in density with respect to density. So why this negative sign here? This is because when we are applying a pressure on a fluid then the volume of that fluid obviously decreases. So this will become negative when this will become positive. When this is positive, then this will be negative. When this increases, then this decreases. That's why in order to make the whole term positive, I've just included a negative sign in the definition. And how I'm writing this is this because due to the continuity conservation of mass, m is equal to density into volume, mass is equal to density into volume that is constant. So when I am going to differentiate it, dm taking differential dv plus v d rho that is equal to 0. So rho dv is equal to negative of v d rho or dv by v is equal to negative of d rho by rho. So that is why I have written this in this term. Now there is one more thing about this change in pressure. This change in pressure is of the order of change in kinetic energy. Why? Because change in pressure is brought about by the change in kinetic energy of the fluid. That's why I can write that change in this pressure is of the order of change in kinetic energy. But what is the meaning of this order of? This order of is not equal to. It means this change in pressure is not equal to this change in kinetic energy but these are of the same order. It means if this change in pressure is of the order of 10 which means any number between 10 to 99 then this must also be of the same order 10 any number between this 10 to 99 and when this is of the order of 100 that is from 100 to 999 then this also must be of the same order 100 so that is the meaning of order of it it, it is it does not mean that they are equal so just I am going to relate it with this k so let us do the further simplification this k is equal to half rho u square 
अपॉन डेल रो बाय रो सो आई कैन राइट दिस डेल रो बाय रो इज इक्वल टू हाफ रो बाय के इनटू यू स्क्वायर दिस और फ्रॉम हियर दिस वन मोर टर्म कॉल्ड सोनिक स्पीड and this is also a misinterpreted term sometimes by the students this doesn't mean the speed of sound this is certainly not the speed of sound this is the speed at which disturbance propagates through the medium okay this is the speed at which the disturbance in the form of say weak pressure waves propagates through the medium and in our case in this case it happens this disturbance happens to be the elastic property of the medium to be the elastic property of the medium that's why we are calling it speed of sound so this is a special case when it becomes speed of sound i just say disturbance through elastic property of the medium so further i can write it as delta rho by rho is equal to half into u square by a square so this u by a is called as the mach number this is the flow velocity and this is sonic speed in this case speed of sound so now i can write it as del rho by rho is equal to half into m a square so now i said a fluid is said to be incompressible when del rho by rho, rho must be less than 5% so when i'm going to put here 5% into 2 and take the square root yeah this is of the order of so this comes out to be 0.316 so this is how these two are interrelated so this is all about the incompressible fluid that a fluid is said to be incompressible when mach number must be less than 0.316 or del rho by rho is less than 5% now what is incompressible flow so incompressible flow is a flow throughout which through the flow the change in volume or volumetric strain must be zero there should not be any volumetric strain within the course of flow that is volumetric strain must be zero or change in volume must be zero but this change in volume can be because of anything like because of change in pressure or change in temperature this can be because of change in pressure or change in temperature or maybe any other factor so that's why i cannot relate this with bulk modulus definition because in case of incompressible fluid we were only saying that this change in volume is brought about by this change in pressure but here this change in volume can be brought about by change in pressure or change in temperature or in other thing so that fluid that flow for which volumetric strain is zero or change in volume is zero and that is brought about by change in pressure or change in temperature 
that kind of flow we are calling it is incompressible flow so that is all about this video thank you also for more exciting contents about science related stuffs in the form of news videos or articles don't forget to like our page science talk on facebook for which the link is given below